Yes, I'm wearing an apron, but no, I'm not gonna put you through another cooking video. Well, Merry Christmas from Goose Island State Park here in Texas. We survived our cold night on Mustang Island State Park, but uh, can't really say the same for our neighbor's tent. It was <laughs> cold and blustery, but now we're here and it's, uh, it's a beautiful sunny day, finally. Uh, that hasn't been the case for the past two days. And I thought uh, while we grill our Christmas steaks, uh, I'd tell you that story. <laughs> <laughs> when we got here to Goose Island on the 23rd, it seemed like all of the deer in Port Aransas were also here trying to warm up. In fact, you might see them. They're hanging out right here around these picnic shelters with me while I make dinner. See how fluffy they're holding all their 14. fur. Like, brr, there's 14 of them. Go on, buddy, I won't hit you. It was still below freezing when we got here, and when we pulled in, we tried to dump our waste tanks, and uh, our black tank dumped fine, but our gray tank did not. The, uh, the pump ran, but no liquid came out, so that was a little unnerving. Our gray tank requires a, uh, a pump to push it up and over our rear axle, so that's probably the weakest point weather-wise of our system. And it still wasn't supposed to be as cold uh, that night as it was the night when we left uh, Mustang Island, so we just plugged in and turned our tank heaters on and decided we'd figure it out the next day um, and hope for the best. What are you up to over here? Filming our new neighbors. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is it jellyfish? Yeah. Oh, those are the ones I saw on the beach. Oh, wind. Wait a minute. Hey. Give me that back. Now my head's gonna freeze. <laughs> I can't even get it on. <laughs> oh, that's better. We've got to unplug and go up to the office. We got a ticket. It's not a real ticket. They just want us to come up and check in. We got here a little after the office closed last night at 4.30. Uh, so we got to go let them know we're here. Oh, goodness, look at this icicle under our propane, under our propane exhaust. All right, so it's a chilly day in Texas, right? It was 25 last night. Again, hopefully nothing's uh, burst or damaged. <laughs> We've done 25 before, so it shouldn't be too bad. My cord doesn't want to bend. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, the cat just leapt onto me. <laughs> Take me with you. You he don't want to be out here. He it's freezing it's cold. 25. Go back in there. You will regret it. So today I'm learning the importance of layering as I don't actually have a winter coat in the van at all. <laughs> we left for town to get some chores done, do our laundry and fill up our propane again since it's been so cold. It really is much warmer with that propane run. And luckily Aransas propane was open on Christmas Eve and we're grateful for that. Uh, we tried again to dump our black and gray tanks on the way out and it's about the chilliest dump duty you'll ever do. <laughs> Unwelcome visitors. Our gray tank was actually frozen. Uh, that part of our system is near the exhaust and with temps finally above freezing, we figured uh, maybe driving around town with our tank heaters on and everything would, would break it loose. <laughs> so we headed out. On the way out of the park, we stopped by Big Tree, uh, which is a place where we had hoped to get a glimpse at some of the local wildlife. Why are we standing out here in the cold? I'm chasing birds. <laughs> Saw a pretty red one. Hopefully we can get a shot of it. It's something new for sure. He's right there. Walk, sneak. No, Please. if we stand still, he might come back down and land. And this isn't even the big tree. <laughs> It's just a big tree. 
This is wild. It's like an octopus or Medusa. Sandy always calls me a big bird nerd, but today I get to be a big bird nerd. <laughs> There's a whole herd of sandhill cranes back here too, probably two dozen of them. Did you just say a got herd to see of sandhill? Flock? <laughs> what do you call a group of cranes? I'll have to look that up. Now stop there a second. Not only am I a bird nerd, but I'm also a word nerd, and in this case, a bird word nerd. And while it turns out that herd uh, is sometimes the correct word, uh, a cooler word for a group of cranes is sedge. So we actually saw a sedge of sandhill cranes. Um, but we saw three, three whooping cranes, and uh, while we're in the area, I'm gonna hope to get some better pictures and show you some, but the whooping cranes are here, I swear. I saw three of them. So we went to uh, town and did our chores and stopped and got gas. It's cold out here. And when we came back to the park, we went back by Big Tree, hoping to get a shot of those cranes. Uh, luckily, just when we were about to give up, three adults flew in real low, right over top of the van. Sandy got a good look at them. And then they landed uh, right next to the road. And I jumped out without a hat or anything to, uh, to go try and get a shot of them. Sandy went up to park the van. Three adults flew over us, right over us, huge birds, and, uh, and landed out here. They're hunting for crabs, no doubt. You can still see the uh, three of them walking around in the marsh out there. Sandy's on her way down from the van. It's still pretty chilly. Looks like she's carrying something. Well, she is carrying something. <laughs> Did you bring me a hand warmer? 102 degrees. The cat. Yeah. <laughs> He wanted to come. Ears. He wanted to come, but I underestimated how shivery. Yeah, cover his ears. He's gonna freeze. It's not gonna freeze. It's barely 40 out here. He wanted to come. He begged. Getting to see these big birds is pretty special. From a low of only 15 wild birds, there are now over 500 that winter here in Texas, and uh, a couple small populations elsewhere. But um, we hope to get another chance to come see these suckers while we're while we're here this winter. Pulling into the park, we tried our luck one more time at the gray tank situation. And... Oh, there it is. Woo! I don't know if that's just from driving around, but that was disgusting. <laughs> All right, close. Is there liquid coming out? Liquid came out. I heard it clunk like there's a chunk of ice. Could be. <sighs> <laughs> Seems to be working. E! I'm much more excited about this E situation than this morning. That's good. Actually, it wasn't even saying empty before this. We gave it an ice bath ice and bath. washed it. <laughs> and you got to rinse your hose. Looky there. Like a clean hose. <laughs> Man likes to keep his hose clean. <laughs> well, that feels uh, like a crisis averted. Uh, we found our bottom limit. <laughs> Again. Ugh. It's a limit I really don't like to test. Damn it, Texas. Yeah, I know we spent a week in Ohio with snow all over the van and one cold night in Texas is like, <clears throat> So there it is, probably the coldest we can get and get away with no damage. <laughs> we don't have any leaks or burst pipes or anything, but a night of 25 with high winds, then a day barely reaching above freezing and another 25 degree night brought us right to the bottom limit. Uh, that was last night and now today is beautiful and sunny and the breeze is chilly, it's almost 50, but uh, for Ohioans, Christmas day, this is pretty nice. Temps are solidly above freezing for a while and. And even if we get some more cold nights, the daytime temps, if they stay well above freezing, we'll be happy. Uh, now we get to hang out and pre-grill some pork chops and eat our Christmas steaks and, uh, and see if the deer come back to visit. This was right where they were hanging out yesterday. Uh, we haven't had anything to eat today, so I'm starving. Let's get cooking. <laughs>